We are at Kanamoto's today, and if you've seen one of these before, you probably haven't. This is a bush press. Basically, all your lower control arms, trailing arms, bushings, everything that goes on the underside of your normal car, four-wheel drive, whatever, this is what's used to press them in and out. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a Land Cruiser that's going through one of these. This one's a four-wheel drive. It's been taken off-road, full of mud, and Pete over here at Kanamoto's is gonna give us a run-through of how the old trailer arm bushes and the new trailer arm bushes go. And that's exactly what we have here. This 80 series Land Cruiser has been driven through the mud as it should be. The bottom is entirely covered in mud. Pete begins by unbolting the upper trailing arm. There's a lot of tapping involved here to remove it. And as you can see, it is a very hard job to do because these bushes are worn in and they're very much stuck. But Pete's experience allows him to swiftly remove the arm and we can see the old bushes, the factory bushes in here. This is where we go back to the machine. As you can see, Pete loads it up with the correct attachments for the correct trailing arm. He begins to start pushing down the hydraulic, which is a satisfying noise that you're about to hear right about now. Oh, there we go, yeah. Then we take a look at the old bushings. They're shot, these are not roadworthy and we have the Nolothane new bushes ready to go in. Here Pete shows us the previous bushes and the new ones. Cracked and as you can see, stress marks. Again, yeah, it's a bigger upgrade with the Nolothane bush. All right, so we have the lower trailing arm here, the upper trailing arm here. This is the new bushes that have gone in. As you can see, we don't have one here. That's because Pete is right there putting them in. So he's just got them pressed in. And here, Pete has installed the Nolothane bushes in and begins to put the trailing arm back into the car. And then you've got the back part of the arm ready to go in as well. This is just about as hard as the previous job of taking them out. As you can see, because the new bushings the car's worn in with the size of the old bushings, they don't go in properly. So thankfully, Pete at Canon Motors is very experienced. So he has a lot of methods of getting them to fit, which is why this type of job might be easier and more, more safely done at a workshop. And just like that, we have another happy customer.